Hey, this is Jonas, I'm one of the developers of Islanders and we recently published our first game to Steam. In case you don't know what Steam is, Steam is basically the biggest online store for video games and it has always been one of my biggest dreams to get one of my games up there. Now I finally did it and it's super duper awesome. So in this video I want to tell you how you can get your game onto Steam as well. The good news is it's super duper easy. The times of Steam green light are over. We're now in the age of Steam Direct, which means everybody can upload a game to Steam. The only thing you need is a Steam account, a game and 100 bucks. And if you have those three things, then you can upload your game to Steam. Of course, that means there's also a lot of competition on Steam, but at the same time, there are also a lot of customers on Steam. So I think Bro, okay. Little disclaimer, please keep in mind, this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial. I don't have enough experience for that. I literally just uploaded one game to Steam. So what I can do is I can tell you the basics and then I can link you a couple of resources in case you want a more detailed description. But this video will just be a very rough overview on how the publishing process on Steam looks like, simply because I don't have enough experience yet to give you a more in-depth tutorial. Step number one, you need a Steam account and a game. If you don't have a Steam account yet, then go make a Steam account. And if you don't have a game yet, then go make a game. Step number two is sign up to Steamworks, which is the backend for developers where you upload your games, where you manage and handle your games, where you can see all of your stats. For that, you can just go to the Steamworks website and log in with your standard Steam account. Then you have to fill in a bunch of data about your company. Yeah, I guess you need some sort of legal entity slash company in order to sell games on Steam. Or if you made the game alone and all of the rights belong to you, you can also enter sole proprietorship into the field for your company form. That seems to be an option as well. Unfortunately, I can't give you any legal advice on that because I'm already myself super confused by all of this. I know a little bit of how it works in Germany, I have absolutely zero idea of how this works in other countries. So best inform yourself. And then once you've committed all of that data, I think they will check it, see if it all looks good and then you're ready to go. Step number three is to create a new game in Steamworks. There should be a button somewhere that allows you to create a new project slash a new game. This is where you'll have to give Valve 100 bucks, which is basically just a safety measurement to stop people from uploading huge amounts of garbage. If you manage to make $1,000 in revenue, you even get those $100 back. Little warning, the Steamworks interface is quite big and a little confusing. There are a lot of buttons and some things are a little hard to find. If you can't find something, then a good place to check is just the official documentation by Valve. They did a very decent job of documenting everything and if you want to do something specific just search for it in the documentation. Or ask Google, you know, that's something I did a couple of times as well. How can I do this and that in Steamworks and usually you'll get the answer. The next step is to implement the Steamworks API into your game. If you want to use something like Steam Leaderboard, Steam Achievements, then you need the Steamworks API. I don't know how it works for different engines. For Unity, you just download steamworks.net from GitHub, put that into your game, and then you get access to all of the Steamworks functions. For example, there's a function to unlock achievements, there are functions to request leaderboard data, and then that leaderboard data is sent to you asynchronously, and then once you've got that, you can display the leaderboard data. Some things seem to be a little easier, some things are a little more complicated. Unlocking an achievement is literally just one line of code, and then some of the async functions are a little trickier to figure out, I think. But all in all, very doable, especially when having a look at the Steamworks documentation. Every now and then, it is possible. You can do it. Step number five is you can upload your game to Steam. Unfortunately, there's not just a simple upload button on the Steamworks website. No, you need to download two tools, Steam Command and the Steamworks SDK, both of which can be found on Valve's websites somewhere. I guess I'll link it in the description. And what you get is basically a bunch of command line tools where you have to hack in the right commands like a hacker in order to get your game uploaded to Steam. You need to mess with some text files a little bit, enter the ID of your game that you can find on the Steamworks website. It all feels a little hacky. There are really some very good tutorials out there for this. It's not as complicated as it sounds. It just takes a bit of time to figure out how it works. Took me personally about one day and then once you understood how the upload process works and you once you've got it all set up, then it doesn't really take all that long anymore. It's just logging in in Steam command into your Steam account, typing one line, hitting enter and then waiting until your game is uploaded. It's relatively simple once you've got it working. And then once you've uploaded your game via Steam command, your game should appear in Steamworks as a new package. And if that is 
is the case, then you know it worked. Step number six should be to get all of your Steamworks settings right, to start setting up your store page, filling in some data, uploading some screenshots, maybe even uploading a trailer if you already got one. Once you have all of those Steamworks settings set up properly, you should already be able to download the game in Steam. It should already be in your library, even if the game and even if the store page have not been published yet. If you are one of the developers of the game, it should show up in your Steam library automatically and you should be able to download and test the game. The next step would be to publish the store page, which by the way is not the same as publishing the game. Publishing the store page just means that the store page will be visible to the public, but they will not be able to download the game yet. I think you already need to have some sort of a game file though, because your store page and your game file need to go through an approval process. Somebody at Steam will have a look at your store page and they will have a look at your game, see if they work, if they are okay, and if they are, then your store page will be published. So for those of you who were wondering, does a real human look at your game before you publish it to Steam? Because there sometimes seem to be very low quality standards on Steam. Yes, that is the case, as far as from what I could tell, because we actually got some feedback that I think could not have been written by a machine. Uh, when we tried to get our store page approved, we got the feedback that some of our screenshots didn't have any UI. However, it's not possible to turn the UI off in the game, so the screenshots were misleading. That was something we had to fix, and that obviously is something that I think only a human could notice. So yeah, Steam actually does some real quality control. They actually launch the games and have a look at them. However, as far as I can tell, they only do it the first time. They only do it one time and then with all of the updates you publish to your game or to your store page, they'll just trust you that you won't mess it up too much. And honestly, that sounds like a pretty decent system to me. Don't forget to set a release date in the Steamworks settings because that will show up on your store page, which, which is obviously good. And it will also help you to appear in that popular upcoming section on Steam. Step number eight would probably be to generate a bunch of review keys and maybe even retail keys. In case you don't know what a Steam key is, a Steam key is basically a random combination of numbers and letters. And if somebody enters a Steam key, they will get the game for free. They will unlock the game. So if you want to send the game to media, to press, to a couple of reviewers, you can send them a review key and they will be able to play the game before launch. If you don't want them to be able to play the game before launch, you can send them a normal retail key and that will unlock the game once the game is out. What I found very interesting about this is that you can firstly generate as many retail keys as you want and secondly you are allowed to sell the retail keys on different platforms. You can just generate 10,000 retail keys and then sell them on your website or give them to Humble Bundle so they can sell the keys for you. And what's even more interesting is that if you do that, if you sell the Steam keys yourself, Steam doesn't even take a cut from your revenue. Usually Steam takes a cut from your revenue, but if you sell the Steam keys yourself, you get 100% of the earnings. Pretty interesting system. Why does Steam do that? I think the reason is because it helps them to get new people to their platform basically. They don't have any work selling anything. Yeah, I have no idea why they do that. It's, it's just cool. It's just cool. Thank you, Valve. At the same time, I have to admit that I feel like it doesn't really make any sense for us at the moment to sell our Steam keys somewhere else because guess what? Steam has a huge amount of users, a huge amount of users that are willing to buy games more importantly. So selling your games on Steam is still more beneficial though. Step nine is don't forget to hit the publish button on launch day. You should have already published your store page. That should already be up, but you also need to publish your game. Otherwise people won't be able to download it. And that is just one button press more or less. But even if you've set the launch date for your game, the game will not unlock automatically at that date. You still need to manually make the game publicly available. And that is when you pray to the steam gods that everything goes well. <laughs> Once your game is officially out, step number 10 is to interact with your community in the community hub. The reason I'm mentioning this is because I personally didn't know there is a community hub on Steam, but it's actually a really awesome place for players to discuss your game and they will probably also post bug reports and feature requests there. So hanging out in the community hub and answering a couple of questions, having a look at everything that's going on there is probably a good idea. Also, updating your game is something that's required that you want to do or something that needs to be done to fix a bug. And if you want to do that, then you can just 
use the same upload procedure as last time using steam command and steam SDK. Once you do that, the new build will show up on steam. Then usually what you do is you don't just publish that right away. What you do is you publish that to a separate branch to a beta branch. So you can test it and maybe a couple of other people can test it. And then if it works, then you publish it to the public. Just right away publishing updates to the public is a little risky if you don't know if they work yet. So I think the standard workflow for that is definitely to publish your changes or your updates to a separate beta branch first. You can protect your beta branch with a password. So you can just give the password to a couple of people. They can download the beta version of your game and tell you if anything's uh, going horribly wrong and if not then you can just roll the beta version out to everybody and give everybody access to the game version. Step number 11 is to have a look at your stats. Look at all that money coming in. <laughs> Steam collects a bunch of really interesting stats about your game, where all of your traffic is coming from, how many people buy the game, of course, um, what your click-through rate is for the thumbnail, what your conversion rate is. And all of that is obviously something you might want to have an eye on, simply because it's interesting, but it might also allow you to optimize a couple of things. Unfortunately, as I've said at the in the beginning, the floodgates are open. There's a lot of competition on Steam. So what I want to talk about next week is how do you successfully launch a game on Steam? How do you do the marketing for your game? Also something I'm not an expert in by any stretch of the Im imagination, but I'd still like to share my thoughts on that topic. So if you're interested in that, Hit that subscribe button. If you're lucky, the video is already out and I'll link it somewhere here. Hope you enjoyed watching. I wish you good luck with getting your game onto Steam. I really hope you make it. If you do, send me a link. I want to see it. Bye-bye.